watch. Here he goes. He's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> They're kids. I mean, when they call them a kid, they act like a kid. Smelling. See? <laughs> What is it? <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to Boat Art Kikos. I'm Josh. I'm Brody. And I'm Audra. Thanks for clicking on this video. And uh, we was just going to go out here. It's a nice, sunny, beautiful day here in Texas. The wind's kind of up. But we're just gonna come out here and show you guys how our bottle babies are doing. I hope the wind is not too bad, but we're trying to do something with these bottle babies. And uh, I'm gonna go show you the process and which we're doing. We've got them on the bottle. They're doing great. And uh, I wanna show you a doe that just had a kid. She had a single, she's got enough milk to raise a couple more. So if we can graft one of these babies on the her it's a success we've already done this once we had a doe that kicked the kid off we grafted another kid on the her and she had a single so come over here and i'll show you the setup what we're doing and uh see how this process is going uh, we will continue to give them bottles to make sure they're getting enough but we started this process this doe had this kid just a couple of days ago so let's go over here and check this out so this is the doe that just had a kid just a few days ago and you can see that she has a big enough bag that's going to help support the other two um, that are not hers and also hers. Now this, like Audra was saying, this doe, she has a big enough bag to uh, raise another kid or a couple kids and um, what we're trying to do is, you can see right here that we have these kids in this cage. They've already been fed this morning with the bottle. And what we're doing is this right here, we'll put her head in here. So she puts her head in and then uh, we let the kids out and the kids are able to suck her. Now, if I can show you, you can see she's got a big bag. She only has this one single kid and we've done this process before and it worked. So make sure you guys go down, like the video, subscribe to our channel. So I'll keep you updated on the next one. So we're gonna try to catch her and um, turn these two little ones out. And I'll show you the process of these babies getting to suck this milk. Like I said, they're already getting bottles from us. We're just trying to get this doe to accept at least one of these kids, if not two, because she already has her one, and uh, we've done this process, it worked. So I'm gonna uh, let these kids out, I'm gonna catch this doe, and uh, allow these kids to suck on her.
So as you can see, we are taking our time with her, um, allowing time for these babies to suck on her. Like I was just saying, it just takes time. Um, you know, this she's not hurting at all. Uh, we will pin, put some food in there, and that's what this is for. You can kind of lock her head in there, and uh, she will let these kids, and you can see these kids are taking that milk. You know, it's, it's a bad deal that they lost their mom, but this is the best way for them to get the best growth is to graft them onto another doe. I told Joe, I said, if we had one born here recently, I knew we had a couple of them. This is the perfect doe. She was a big doe. She had a big bag. She raised two kids last year. She had a single, so her having a single allows her to take this process. Hopefully it will work. It worked in the past. And uh, we still give them bottles. They're still getting plenty of milk. And uh, we put them in this cage and uh, let them out, pin her, and allow them to get this milk. You can see they're getting full. What is it? See that one trying to suck my elbow. Get right to smell your face. I know. And that's all she's that's all it's doing, it's just smelling. See? <laughs> what is it? What is it? The other one's eating my shirt off in the back. <laughs> They're ready for a bottle. Mm -hmm. Is it bottle time? There you go. You feed one at a time? Yeah. Here. Lift it up, Bobby. Lift it up. Uh, yeah, hold it up. He's, he's a little more interested. Or she is. Good idea. Well, you look at that little female. Yes. Yeah. I'll wait about three hours now. I'll come in. Yeah. So they look. I like to keep them fresh water and a little bit of feed. They like to run and play. Try, try to get them. Oh, yeah, they jump all over her and bounce off of her. One of the main things that you want to do once you get her head in there is to take take her own milk, spray it in your hand, and rub it on those new, those new kids. And do that for period of five days probably and first thing you know she don't know no difference she got that and she'll, and she'll accept them she's got her scent on she got her scent on through that milk this is the first year that we've used this grafting uh gate or shoot whatever you want to call it to uh graft a uh young goat that doesn't have a mama we saved two this year 
through this process, had one to get hurt, and over a couple of three days, his mother didn't want to take it back. So I was able to put her mother in here, bring a baby after it got to where it, it got better, where it could walk and stuff. And she finally took it after about a week or 10 days. You have to have patience with this gate, but it works. Uh, I've saved one of, one of Josh's uh, little, little black doe. Uh, her mother just abandoned it. And if we hadn't had this gate, but she's out there now with that little thriller daughter that we grafted her to, and she's just happy, and both of them are happy. And, you know, and it's just uh, a real safe way to do it. Like Joe was saying, you know, it's just a process, and uh, this doe, you can see, uh, she's not hurt. She has this kid. This kid is getting well taken care of. This kid's in her with her all the time. So we just take these kids out of the cage. We just moved them over into here. I'll show you that. And there's another pen beside her. But we'll put them in here, put our head in, let them get the milk they need. We offered a bottle to them to see if they needed that. So we're making sure that they're getting plenty of nutrition. And uh, I'll try to link this uh, gate in the description. Uh, if you're interested in it, like I said, uh, this has worked in the past and we're hoping it works this time. If she will just take one, but I'm sure she'll take two. She's got plenty of milk to give and uh, her having a single, we're gonna uh, help her out and put a couple more on her. So this is the pen that we put them in next to her so that they could have a little bit more running around room and just playing and jumping on the wall. <laughs> um, and they're, they're loving it. Watch. Here he goes. He's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> They're kids. I mean, they call them a kid. They act like a kid. All right, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope maybe uh, with the process we're doing, it works. We'll see. Only time will tell. Uh, but if there's something in this video that you uh, seen that helped you out, uh, that's why we do them. I'll link this stuff in the description so you can look this up. This process has worked for us. So I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. So make sure you guys... You... Keep on going. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> to be ready. About 12, I think. You want to take that in the